In this video, we will show you the procedure for disassembling, reassembling, and replacing the components of the Bosch Crin 4.2 injector using the equipment produced by Radat SPA and the test on the Hartridge test bench. We start the disassembly procedure by removing all the O-rings using the hook tool 4021678. With the holding block 4021902, we place the injector in the vise. We use the wrench 4021905 to remove the nozzle nut. Then we remove the other components. Using the pliers for 020700, we can extract the cage 1214512, and it is now possible to remove the components inside the bush. We remove the injector nut with the open wrench 4021183. Then we remove the following components. Using the wrench 4021912, we remove the solenoid nut. This allows the removal of the solenoid group from the injector body. Attention! We do not recommend disassembling the solenoid group as the two electrical wires inside would be damaged. The injector is now completely disassembled. We now proceed to a careful cleaning, checking and replacing worn components. We recommend replacing any damaged components and those subject to wear, such as springs, O-rings, filter, valve, plunger assembly, and nozzle. You can check the Radat website for the complete parts list. We begin the reassembly procedure by tightening in the vise the holding block 4021902 and positioning the injector. We proceed by assembling the solenoid group.
Using the wrench 4021912, we tighten the solenoid nut to 90 newton meters. We proceed by assembling the component shown. With the wrench 4021183, we tighten the injector nut to 90 newton meters. We assemble the components inside the bush. Using the plates kits 1, 214, 921 and 1, 214, 922, we can proceed to the correct calibration. With the pliers 4, 0, 2, 0, 7, 0, 0, we lock the cage 1, 214512 into the bush. We then assemble the other components. We now proceed to the assembly of the nozzle. Using the calibration shims in the kit 1, 214, 535, we can calibrate it correctly. With the wrench 4, 0, 2, 1, 9, 0, 5, we tighten the nozzle nut to 105 newton meters. Finally, we install the O-rings and the heat shield. The injector is now completely assembled. We will now show you the procedure to disassemble and reassemble the filter on the Bosch Crin 4.2 using the Radat tools. We screw the threaded bush 4021901 onto the inlet connection of the injector body. On this threaded bush, we screw the tap guiding bush 
0021549. We insert the tap 4021552 in the tap wrench 4021553 and in the guiding bush to thread the filter down as much as possible. During this operation, add some lubricant to prevent gripping. We then remove the tap and unscrew the bush. We screw the extractor nut 4021551 onto the threaded pin 4021603. We then screw the assembly onto the thread we created inside the filter. We tighten the extractor nut against the threaded bush until the filter is pulled out of its seat. The filter is now disassembled. We now proceed to the installation of the filter 1 216121, inserting it in its seat. We screw the tap guiding bush 4021549 onto the threaded bush. We position the insertion pin 4022170 in the guiding bush and we push it all the way down. If necessary, we can use a hammer. The insertion pin can then be removed along with the guiding bush and the threaded bush from the injector inlet. The filter is now installed. Now we will demonstrate the testing of the Bosch Crin 4.2 injector using the Hartridge test bench. We start by installing the Bosch Crin 4.2 injector on the Hartridge test bench using the appropriate adapter. In the software, it is possible to select the make and model of the injector to be tested. By pressing Start, all the tests are carried out automatically. At the end of the tests, the green or red colors indicate positive or negative results. By selecting each test, all the details can be viewed on the screen. All our videos are available on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe and for further information, we invite you to visit our website www.redat.com and contact our offices.